In this video, we're going to be building the external gear. To begin, press four M3 nuts into each of the holes on the motor end cap. The motor end cap looks different from the previous two. Make sure they are completely flush. These will serve to hold the external gear in place on the robot. Next, take any four M3 bolts that you can afford to throw away and tighten them into the nuts from the other side, just enough to be flush so no epoxy gets into the threads of the nut. Pull back on the bolt to make sure that the nuts are still flush after this. Then, feed the wires of the motor through the center hole of the motor end cap. Make sure the side with the indentation and notch line up with where the wires come out of the motor. After this, remove the motor end cap and coat the bottom of the motor in epoxy. Make sure none gets into the center hole as this is where the shaft of the motor is. Then, line the wires up again and press the motor end cap down. After you press it down, pull the bolts out all the way to make sure the nuts are seated. Before the motor dries, we're going to put it in the external gear so it dries aligned to it and also with some compression. Set a 6810 bearing into the top side of the external gear and make it flush with the platform below. Then slide the motor in from the opposite side, shaft first. Push it down all the way and then take another 6810 bearing and push it into the bottom of the external gear. Flip it back over and make sure that the first bearing has not popped out. If it has, just push it back down. Make sure the screws on the bottom are still pulled out all the way. Like the other harmonic drives, take one M3 socket head screw at a time and replace it with a number six washer underneath it, but don't tighten it all the way. Once you have replaced them all, evenly tighten them down opposite to each other in an X pattern, not circular. When you start to let it dry, make sure you put it in a position that doesn't push the nuts at the bottom back in, such as on its side. Take the bolts out of the bottom after about an hour of drying. Now, we're going to mount the stator gear onto the harmonic drive. Start by threading four M2 by 20 millimeter bolts through the bottom into each of the poles. Just like before, look for the two threads holes on the stator gear itself. They are only on one side, so match up the side with the threads against the two small holes on the bottom of the plastic piece. Once you've done this, press the stator into the mount. It won't be flush, so don't worry if there's a little bit exposed. Like the other stators, thread M2 nuts onto the top of the bolts. Then, take two M3 by 12 mm socket head screws and evenly tighten them into the two holes on the bottom of the mount. This is what will hold the stator gear in place. When the stator gear is secure, match up the ridges on the outside of the stator gear mount. These fit into the notches in the external gear. Line them up and press the stator gear mount into the external gear, spinning the shaft once in a while as you're going. Spin the shaft as you're done as well to ensure that there are no anomalies. Finally, we can start mounting the external gear onto Dexter. To begin, take both unique external gear nut holders and press fit an M3 nut into each. You should notice each one has its own curve on it. Press the nut holders into the top of the external gear mount, nut side up. Their curvature will fit seamlessly with the external gear mount once pressed in. Once they are pressed in, check the holes in front of them to make sure the nuts are lined up. Take your external gear and look for the side with the wires coming out of it. You want that side to match up with the bottom of the external gear mount. Feed the wires through the hole on the mount and line up the holes for the nuts with the holes on the back. Then take four M3 by 12 millimeter socket head screws and tighten them in the same X pattern from before. Now take the external gear mount top and press a 6810 bearing into it and make it flush. Once you've done that, fit it over the stator gear. It should snap on. After the external gear mount has been fit on, take two M3 by 46 millimeter all thread with two nuts and an M3 washer on each. Use the technique from the end arm hub video for the nuts. Tighten them into the external gear mount all the way down. This completes the external gear build.